This is the weir at Diglis in Worcester. It was built in the 1840s for navigational reasons and it's effectively a wall in the river that means that the water behind the wall is a greater depth and improves passage for boats. And there are also locks just on the other side that allow the boats to actually bypass the weir and carry on their journey. But this isn't the case for fish, particularly the Twait Shad. It comes up, migrates up the river, reaches as far as the weir, and it is literally faced with a brick wall in the river and it cannot pass. In the late 1840s, people already started to notice that migratory fish, and particularly the Twait Shad, were really suffering from these navigational weirs being built. The fish couldn't pass, they couldn't get to their historic spawning grounds, and therefore populations started to seriously decline. The weirs were built mainly for the Industrial Revolution and the movement of goods and materials on big boats in the 1800s into the 1900s as well. Nowadays, the River Severn is used for recreational purposes, for pleasure boating, so the weirs still have a really important role to play. The boats that used the river in the 1800s may well have gone on to do other journeys on our canal network, such as going onto the Worcester and Birmingham Canal here in Worcester or the Staffordshire and Worcestershire Canal up at Stourport.